This is how we can remove time limit on the, the iPad. Let's get into it. So if you open up the settings and on the left panel, scroll down to find the screen time section, you can find the app limits, which is marked by an orange icon with a hourglass on the top of that. So you get inside in here and you might notice that there are some specific apps listed in here with the time that they are allowed to be used per day. So as you're in here, you have a few options. Of course, you cannot turn off the app limits altogether with the toggle at the top right there, right? So that's possible. Or you can tweak specific app limits for the apps listed. So each app listed here can be swiped left to delete it, right? To delete the limit, of course. Or you can tap on it, turn it off, not entirely deleted, or adjust the time, right? So when you click on the time, you can adjust the uh, the days during which it will be like used, and also the very specific time in hours and minutes on each day where it can be used, right? So you have a few options. You can turn it off or on, and that's how you can manage it. Just keep in mind that this can only be performed if the screen time section or settings are not locked or passcode protected. So if that's the case, you can do that, right? If there is no passcode being required or anything, you can go ahead and get there easily. Or if you are asked for a passcode, you need to type that in. So you need to know it, right? Otherwise, you will not be able to perform any changes in here, right? So that's kind of a, a thing, you know, it's apparent that you will need to use a passcode if it asks you for one, but it's just not the one you use to unlock your iPad. It's most likely a different one set for screen time specifically. So these are all of the things which I thought that you should know about. Let me know below in the comments if there are some more thoughts or questions you might have. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the future tutorials.